All right, Dave, thank you. Those strong winds causing damage outside today. The wind blowing all over this wall. Look at that. Came down in Detroit. Bricks, bricks all over the road. Yeah, winds also caused some wires to catch fire. Our coverage continues right now with 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl. She's in northwest Detroit taking a look at some of that damage. Ronnie. At times, the wind gusts are so powerful, you have to brace yourself to avoid falling over. And this old commercial building was no match against Mother Nature. Wicked windy weather sending bricks crashing into the roadway, partially blocking Finkel near 14th Street. I'm going to pick my children up for school. So now it's like I got to go back this way. No other way to get there. The vacant building already at risk after catching fire and being picked apart by scrappers couldn't withstand the whipping winds. A portion of the front facade now gone. On Detroit's east side, flames shooting into the sky had neighbors jumping. We were sitting in the house and I just heard this big boom and he looked outside and it was like blowing up. A little scary. <laughs> the Dixons watched as the flames spread along the power line outside their home on Adeline near Charleston. I seen it was a uh, kind of traveling. I didn't want no power lines to fall on my uh, car, so I had to hurry up and uh, get it out the way. <laughs> Today's high winds just the latest in what has been a weather roller coaster ride across Metro Detroit the last few days. But hey, at least it's not Buffalo. Would you rather have snowy weather? Oh, no. When? You'll take the win. I'll take the win every time. When the bricks came tumbling into the roadway, it brought down a portion of the power line. And so there is a crew out here right now checking the power line, making sure that the electricity is off and everything is safe. Once they're finished with that, a city crew will be out here to remove the bricks and get this roadway back open. On Detroit's northwest side, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Okay, Ronnie, thank you so much. Well, we are not done with the weather yet. Take a look at this. The wind knocking down a tree onto a mail truck on Detroit's west side. 7 Action News reporter Andy Choi was at the scene and has the latest. Just think of the power it takes to knock down a tree like this. So powerful, the wind's taking this tree down and hitting the postal truck across the street. When we first showed up on location, the whole tree was blocking uh, Evergreen, and it was on top of the uh, mail truck. Um, I didn't see a body in the car. I'm, I'm assuming that an ambulance took her away or she possibly got out. or She may have not even been in the car. Police tell us the mail carrier was not in the car when that tree came down. Several crews worked to remove heavy sections of that tree, all while feeling the whip of nature's high winds themselves. Look like it just snapped like a twig. Well, you know, most trees will. Uh, it, it's no power from Mother Nature. It's, it's no power from Mother Nature at all. The best thing you can do is be careful, try to stay out the way and look above when you park your car. The road near Evergreen and Linden reopened late in the afternoon as much of Detroit waited for these howling winds to back down to a whisper. Well, you know, the wind can be a, a big factor around this time of the year, especially when you're up cutting uh, maybe 60, 70 foot trees. Uh, the wind factor is, is, is very dangerous nowadays. On Detroit's west side, Andy Choi, 7 Action News. Okay.